Got these Jordan 11 pinnacles in the trade. I traded one of my teammates. I was like, you might as well. I'm like, you don't wear them. They're not your size. And then he was like, you're right, you're right. So I won out the trade. What's up, GQ? I'm Colin Sexton, and this is my life in sneakers. I'm wearing Atlanta at my parents' house right now. This is some of my shoes that I have here. Shout out to the container store for uh, hooking me up. <laughs> I'm not sure how many shoes I have right here. I got a good amount. And then in Cleveland, it's my house, so I can have shoes all over the place. Oldest. These are the Jordan 4 Fire Reds Mars Road Edition. 2006, these are the oldest ones that I have. I like the, the red and black. Red is my favorite color. And Spike Lee on the little side. I love Spike Lee movies, so I definitely had to pick them up. I'm not sure where I bought them, but they was a little bit too big. I was always gonna grow into them. And then I skipped the size and I was like, dang, I went a whole size up, so I, I wasn't able to wear them. My brother likes them, so I might uh, just give them to my brother. I'll make sure he's good. Newest, the Ray Allen 13s. I think I got these in like two weeks ago. We got the signature on there. That's my favorite part of the shoe. These are definitely one of my top fives. My dad and my mom, they knew I always wanted these, so it surprised me, and they found them, and I was like, I gotta get them. If I'm gonna meet Ray Allen, I'm definitely wearing these for sure, and I might get them signed. <laughs> Next up, the flashiest shoes I have. I'll probably say these two. The Serena Williams Off-White 97s and the Serena Williams Blazers. Not too flashy. I don't really like too much flashy shoes, but just right. Last year, I went to Alabama for the LSU game, and I definitely wore these. You can get them, but you have to pay for sure. Most expensive so far, Michigan Fab Fives. I actually got these two summers ago before my rookie season at the Nike headquarters in Oregon. They brought them out. It was like a few shoes they want. They allowed us to pick from, and these are the ones I picked. I don't know how many pair there are, but I think the last one on Flight Club, I think it went for like 15000 If you don't know about the Michigan Fab Five, there's one, one of the best college teams to pretty much play. Chris Weber, Jamal Howard, Jalen Rose. They were definitely in the truth, and uh, these are one of my favorites. But I'll never probably wear them because I'm an Alabama guy. I can hold them, but I just can't put them on. Underrated. The Dover Street um, Jordan 1s. And then these are the Storm Blues. And this is one of my favorite shoes um, of all time. I don't think people sleep on them now as much as they used to. Um, but I think these are like maybe like 250 3 But as long as you like it, it doesn't matter how much how much it costs or anything like that. They're very comfortable. I would say um, you can wear them with sweats. You can wear them with shorts. You can dress them up, dress them down. Sentimental. Jordan 11 breads. This is actually the first Jordan that my parents um, bought me, my brother, and my sister. And we, bought, we got these for Christmas. I'm not sure what year it was, but all of us wore it. Like we, we all looked like triplets. We had the same clothes on and everything. I think it might be good for all of us to wear our, our breads and, and do a comparison video. Sexiest shoe, these right here, Off-White Air Force. They're just clean, simple. You gotta take care of your shoes. Just keep them on the concrete. Right now, these are over a thousand for sure. I'm not sure what I paid, but it wasn't it wasn't anything close to that. As far as like old basketball shoes that I do have, I, I go find them like on eBay and stuff like that, where people are just selling them for like, for real cheap, like $30, $40. I haven't gotten a fake through eBay yet, knock on wood. That's one thing about eBay, you have to take your chances, but uh, if they have a lot of good reviews and if you like set it up and have the buyer like FaceTime you and if he doesn't FaceTime you or if he doesn't actually send more, more pictures that you asked for, then you're like, yeah. Rarest, Jordan 13 Lowe's. It's 3M all around the shoe. Whenever you put the flash on them, it, it lights up. It's definitely hard. I'm not sure the price or anything like that, but I think it's maybe like 30 pairs of these. And I got these at the uh, Jordan Brand Classic. So all the people that participated, we got these. So after the game, they surprised us. And uh, these are definitely a good gift. Luckiest find. DMP packs, the 11s and then the 6s. Actually, growing up, these are always my favorite, um, just by that jump in on the back. People really don't keep them nowadays. Like they'll sell the shoe. Got these mm -hmm. from Flight Club, and the reason I say uh, I got a steal because they took off 200, 300 dollars because this tab on the back was was ripped a little bit. But 
I was like, nah. That just shows the age of the shoe. I'll take them. The shoes that I got in the trade. Um. Jordan 11 Pinnacles. I got these in the trade. I traded one of my teammates. I had um, two pair of the uh, Academy Kyrie's and then I traded a pair of Kobe 7's. They were, they were messed up a little bit. I was like, you might as well. I'm like, you don't wear them. They're not your size. And then he was like, you're right, you're right. So I definitely traded for them. And after a while, you, you convince someone long enough, then they'll be like, all right, let's do it. I like the cool gray. It's one of my, my favorite shoes of all time, the cool gray. And um, just this, this suede on there, it just makes them different and it pops. And then the, the sole, you can't go wrong with a with Jordan 11 and then the jump, man. It's just blending in a little bit. So I won out the trade. Most surprising, the Jordan 11 anniversaries. Uh, you don't see these too too often. Found these in round two and they gave me a pretty good deal. I think it was like two something and it was, it was brand new. So I, I couldn't pass it up. I know someone out there definitely has these, um, but if they have these, I don't know they don't have, hold on. If they have these, then I know for sure they probably won't have these. The anniversary twos. People don't really like the twos, but no matter um, if people people say it's ugly or anything like that, I get what I like. And we should did one, one more category, a Kobe category. Bonus category. R.P. Kobe, uh, he's one of my favorite players. Um, growing up, I just love watching Kobe Bryant, his mentality, everything about him. Uh, first one, Kobe won. Uh, Potro, think 16. These remind me just of the Lakers back in the day. Um, nothing too special, like the undefeated ones are a lot better, but these right here, just just that yellow and gold with the eight on the back, just reminds me of that Lakers. Then one that I wore at Alabama are the Kobe Sevens. These are like a team edition ones. These are real old. Um, they're starting to yellow a little bit, but that just shows the age on them. And these are it. Pretty tough. Last but not least, the Kobe Seven Christmases. These are one of my favorites, just because of the color, the purple, the red, and just the detail they put on the back, everything like that. They did their thing with these for sure. This wasn't a category, but I love Kobe so much, and he's one of my favorite players ever. So I had to do it to you. Rest in peace. You'll always be remembered.